Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, today is going to be a slightly different video. Um, you may also notice there's a slightly different background behind me. Um, and also, big news, I got studio lights. So, that means everything should be nice and bright. <laughs> and probably showing up every imperfection as well. But however, um, yeah, I just got them to make my videos look better, so I hope it's lighter and better and yeah, so that's that, if you do notice the difference then good. Anyway, um, yeah, today's video is going to be a little bit different, it's going to be um, a bit of a chatty video, I've got no products um, or clothing or anything like that to show you guys today. Um, it's basically just going to be, if maybe you can tell from the title, a bit of a like a motivational you can do it video. It's all about your career and like your or whatever aspirations you have, um, anything you want to do in life, like making it happen. Because there's a big difference between like you know wanting something and actually making it happen and it coming true and all that stuff. So yeah I've got like five pieces of advice or five like pointers or tips or whatever you want to call it. Um, I mean obviously I am no expert. Um, this is just like the kind of things that I do to like um, encourage myself to um, like you know keep going and um, yeah it's probably gonna be quite cheesy but <laughs> let's just go with it. Um, and yeah let's get started. Okay so the first tip is removing the barrier of fear. Um, it's all about your mentality and that's what this video is really all about. It's all about, um, you know, in order to like actually go out there and do what you want to do, it's like having the mentality to do it. And my first tip would be to remove the fear because that's what mo that's what stops most people doing anything is like fear. And if you think about it, it's like what are you scared of? Is it failing? Is it looking stupid? Is it um, not thinking you'll be able to do it? Like the challenge, is it too big? Do you think it's too big? Um, is it like leaving home if that's you know if that's like what it involves like you know you're scared of being homesick or not knowing anyone things like that um you just got to actually break it down and think like what is it you're scared of and how can you overcome that um because as I say like that is what will stop you doing most stuff like just being scared and it's totally natural but if you think about it it's just pointless like it's you know being scared of something that you really want to do, you know, you're not going to benefit from that in any way. Um, you're just like letting the fear take over. But um, yeah, so you just need to like figure out what exactly it is you're scared of and then just like, you know, seeing a way around it. Um, I would also say though, it is good to have a certain amount of fear. Um, I think like, you know, you know, you don't ever want to get like too cocky and too overconfident. Um, like just thinking like, oh, you know, you've got it in the bag or, um, you know, I'll do that, I'll be fine. Like, you know what I mean? Like you can't be overconfident either. It's like nerves as well. Like it's good to have a certain amount of nerves, um, but you can't let them take over. Um, so fear is good on a small scale. Um, don't let it take you over. You, you know, you can't let it stop you from doing what you want to do. That's when it gets too much. It's all really about getting the balance. Um, between you know being confident but you know you're obviously going to be scared and um, if it's like a big change or you know whatever it is you want to do and um, I would also just say like to imagine yourself doing the job as well like you know if you're you are letting fear like you know really get in the way just always think of yourself doing the job um, and being in the job and like imagine what it'll be like you know, read stories. I always read stories about people who work in fashion PR and who live in New York and things like that. I always like read stories about people that are doing the same thing that I want to do because it just shows you that anything is possible. Like anyone can do it. Anyone can be what they want. Um, 
and yeah, like I just like reading stories because then I'm like, oh yeah, like she does exactly what I want to do. Like if she can do it, I can do it kind of thing. Um, and yeah, just keep thinking like anything is possible. It's just the fear that like stops you from doing it. It's not that it's impossible to do it. Um, so yeah, that is like my first tip. Definitely just getting rid of that fear. Maybe leaving a little bit. <laughs> um, but yeah, getting just don't let it stop you because um, it's just stupid. It's just you can't let it stop you because then you'll just regret things. Um, um, so yeah, that's my number one tip. Remove the fear. Okay, so tip number two would be um, being prepared to take risks. Okay, now risks, anything like worthwhile in life or like, you know, that is really high reward or whatever, um, you're going to have risk. There's going to be risk involved. And um, that's just like life, um, unfortunately. But risk is good. Um, you know, you have to like weigh up things and decide if the risk is worth it. Um, is it worth your, 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 you know, the dream job that you want is taking the risks worth it? Um, but you know, that is, you've got to be prepared to take risks. Don't be, so it's like what I was saying about the fear, don't automatically see a risk and like automatically be like, oh my God, no, that's a risk, I can't do it. Um, it's just like finding a way around the risk and yeah, like embracing it or whatever. Um, because usually when it's big risk, it's big rewards. Um, so yeah, you know, you just have to take that leap of faith and, and do it. And yeah, it really just all comes down to how much do you want your dream career. Um, the bigger the dream, the bigger the risk. And if you really, really don't, you know, you think you really want something, but at the end of the day, deep down, you don't, it won't happen for you. Um, you need to really, really, really want it for it to happen and for it to become a reality. Okay, so tip number three is... Don't ever put yourself down because there are so many other people in life that will be very willing to put you down. Um, I was told that it was a very good piece of advice. Um, you know, just don't, there's no need for you to put yourself down because there are just so many other people in your life that are going to come across that are going to be prepared to put you down. Okay, so don't do it. Don't do it to yourself. Um, and basically realise, like, your dream is your dream. It's nobody else's. So if you don't always get the most positive reaction when you tell people about your dream, or, you know, I'm not saying people will be nasty intentionally, but, you know, not everyone is going to be the most encouraging, supportive people. Um, and, you, you know, you've just got to think to yourself, you know, it's your dream and no one else is going to want it more than you. So just don't always expect people to you know, be as enthusiastic about your dream as you are. Um, I'm not saying that will happen, but it, it definitely happens with me. Um, and, you know, you can sometimes get disheartened and think like, oh my God, am I not making the right decision here? Um, you know, you start questioning yourself. So you just have to be strong and stick to your guns and just believe in you and your dream. Like I think the thing is, you can't always be too practical either when you're when you have your dream. Because um, if you you know sometimes if you're too practical, then you just find too many barriers and it'll just stop you. So you have to just be a little bit um, like impractical and just like look past like all the practicalities and just look at the possibilities. Um, it may not be totally practical what you're wanting to happen but it's a possibility, so that means it can happen. Um, and just like think like that because, you know, possibilities are endless and um, there's just so many opportunities out there that you wouldn't automatically think of and you don't necessarily think are practical, but um, you've just, yeah, you've just got to think past that. And always, like I was saying before, imagine yourself in your job, in your dream job, the end goal, always have that in your mind. Um, to motivate you on. <laughs> My fourth tip would be to work hard. And I'm gonna say the most cliche thing ever, but 
go hard or go home. Like that is just so true. Um, there's just no point in putting like 50% or 70% of yourself into something that you know you really want to happen. You have to like put your whole, all of your energy into it and for it to happen. Um, I think that's like another thing that really stops people is like you know they really want it to happen and they'll start to do it and it's just like a case of like not necessarily getting lazy but just maybe getting distracted or whatever the reason might be but you know you're just not working as hard as you need to be because anything that's worth it in life is gonna require hard work Um, not many things come easy that are you know really amazing and really worth it and um, so you just have to work really hard and um, you know, you're almost guaranteed if you're a really hard working person and you put your all into something that you will reap the rewards and um you know, your 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 dreams will come true almost like you just have to think like that. Um and and yeah, you, you if you if it's really your dream then you'll enjoy it. You'll enjoy working hard to make it happen. And it's really you have to accept that you're gonna come up up against obstacles and you just got to work through them like that's not when you quit that's just like when you keep going stronger um and yeah you're gonna come across negative things and you're gonna really what probably want to stop a lot and just like you know just forget it it's not gonna happen but really when you do when it does happen for you it'll make it all the more better that you you know that you've worked so hard for it and it'll be such an achievement knowing that you know you've come up over all these obstacles and challenges and negative things and whatever um it'll just make it all the more better for you so just keep going just work 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 hard okay my final tip is just basically staying positive. It's really related to my last one. It's staying positive and keep motivated. And because, you know, in order to work hard and, you know, overcome all these negative things, you have to have a positive mindset and you have to keep motivated. You have to do things to keep yourself motivated. Um, or else, you know, you will just get into like a hole and you'll just want to stop, um, basically. And what I would say is, always keep your mind on the end goal and always like know exactly what direction you want to go in and always know where exactly you want to go but what I would say is don't put too much pressure on defining how you're going to get there and just be really open to possibilities and um, you know a lot of people just like you know this is how I'm going to do this I'm going to you know, like they put all these like steps in place and have, uh, that's what I was like for so long, you know, I have to do it exactly this way. Um, but things change so much and, um, you know, as long as you get there in the end, it doesn't really matter how you get there. Um, so don't put too much pressure on like, you know, creating this like pathway to, to getting your dream. And basically the tips for keeping motivated, for me anyway, is I always visualize everything. Like I think of it in my mind, but I also do it literally like, I watch films um, about people who work in, in fashion PR, whether it's like um, YouTube or like, you know, movies. There's a lot of movies about fashion and New York and things like that. So for me, I always watch things like that. Whenever I see a skyline of New York, I'm just like, my God, my heart starts beating faster. And it just like totally inspires me and keeps me going. So I'm always looking at pictures of New York and um, I'm always like watching videos and reading articles of people who work in the industry and um, that just keeps me motivated. Um, another big motivation for me is listening to music. Um, I know it might sound really cheesy again like you know like listening to music <laughs> like, but it does it really does motivate you or motivates me. Um, and I have basically I've created a, a playlist and um, I did it on Spotify so um, you guys can check it out if you like it's my top 10 songs for keeping motivated and um, I will also write them below um, if you can't get it on Spotify I'm really new to Spotify so I created a playlist and um, I like think I made it public so I think you guys can access it but who knows so I'm gonna write all the songs below anyway with the link to the to the Spotify um but yeah I always listen to these songs they always kind of change but right now these are like my top 10 songs that I listen to that really really motivate me and I really really listen to the lyrics and they just make me think about life 
how short life is and making the most of the time you have um, and yeah that sounds quite deep but it's so true um, yeah so that's like my motivating tips um, constantly have your goal in your mind always visualize it literally and in your mind and you know listen to music and stuff like that just do whatever makes you motivated like if it's going for a run you know exercising all those kind of things um whatever it might be yes so that's my five tips i will quickly just run over them and um, so tip number one was removing the barrier of fear because it will stop you and um, so just remove it. Number two is be prepared to take risks because there's always going to be risks involved. Tip number three was don't ever put yourself down because, you know, other people will put you down so you don't need to do it. Tip number four, work hard. It's the only way you're going to get it to happen is working hard. And finally, tip number five was keep motivated and stay positive. Okay, so you can apply these to any, if whatever career you want to go into, you know, you can apply it to that because um, it will apply to any career, um, not just fashion or PR, like that's just what I want to do. But these are the tips that I use because um, moving to New York for me is a huge thing and, um, you know, doubt and challenges and obstacles always keep their way in. So, you know, I have to push them away and and just stay focused on your dream. So if you enjoyed this video, please let me know. It's a bit of a strange one and I don't know if it would actually help anyone, but I hope it has. Um, so if it has helped you, please leave me a comment and give this video a thumbs up. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna leave it there for today, guys. My next video, I will be back to my fashion um, and I'll be talking about trends for spring, summer. So, yeah, subscribe if you want to see that. Um, and, yeah, have a good day, whatever you're doing, and just do it. Just make your dream happen, um, because believe me, it will be worth it. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Bye!